It's always refreshing when a brand can reproduce quality and simplicity, but at an affordable price. This is Cardware, a new Bitcoin wallet priced at $77. Let's see how it stands up. Inside the box, you get the Cardware wallet, a seed backup, nice extra touch, a USB-C cable, a D20 die ready for your new D&D campaign, a user guide with setup instructions, two seed phrase recovery sheets, and if you're lucky, a personalized note from the team. Sometimes simplicity is beautiful. The see-through front and back of the device allows for complete transparency, stating on their website, don't trust, verify. The device appears to be made of a normal plastic material from start to finish. This makes it super lightweight at 60 grams. The screen itself is positioned similar to a calculator, but no details about the type of screen being used here. Below the screen are navigation buttons. The left are used for up and down, while the right ones confirm or reject user actions. On the back, we have a camera, which allows for C generation and QR scanning. We can also see the USB-C slot giving the device its power. It's completely air-gapped, meaning cardware operates without internet, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. Lastly, there is a one-year warranty on the device, just in case. When setting up Cardware, there's a lot of versatility when generating a seed phrase. For the first option, click Video. While moving your camera around, it will hash each frame of a video stream and then hash the result of the many frame hashes, one pixel at a time. Explaining this concept like you're five, it's just taking environment video data to generate random numbers. For the second option, click D20 Dice Rolls. As a D&D player, this was the most fun for me, but you need to roll 64 times. Although super tedious, I'd suggest trying it if you have the time. Once again, this takes random numbers to generate a seed. The last option is D6 dice rolls, which I no longer wanted to torture myself. All jokes aside, you need to roll 100 times with these dice, and I have a lot of them, so it probably would have been easier. Again, it randomly generates a seed. Next, the 24 word seed will be displayed on the device. Write down all words on the paper sheet, or even even better, etch into the steel cart. I feel like a broken record, but never put your seed online like me. Don't tell anyone else, record it, you get the gist. It's for your gorgeous eyes only. I'm looking at you. Then begin the painstaking yet important work of re-entering and confirming all 24 words back on the wallet. As per usual business, create a secure pin between five and eight digits, then re-enter it. Incorrectly entering it five times will erase the device, needing your seed phrase to restore the wallet. We're all set up now. Pair the device through the pair button. How convenient. Scan the QR code on the included sheet, click pair device and scan the Cardware wallet QR using a mobile device. And we're in. First and foremost, this version of Cardware is Bitcoin only, available on both iOS and Android. Again, the simplicity is just so refreshing. First off, the app is web-based, so you don't need to download yet another app. The UI is visually appealing to the eye and the UX layout just makes sense. What I like is that we're not over overburdened by options. Just send or receive Bitcoin. To send, input the Bitcoin address, select your fee, low if you're not in a rush, and then press scan to scan QR codes with Cardware. Then scan QR broadcast with a mobile device. It's a very similar process to SafePal. The only feature I'd like to see added is the ability to see transaction history in-app instead of through Blockstream Explorer. Receiving is just like any other app. Copy your address or scan the QR. No downloading and it works straight away. In the menu, change between color themes, find tons of fantastic resources to get you started, and export ZPub if needed. Multi-sig support is coming soon, something I'll be using personally. Lastly, it's important to note that users can generate unlimited addresses through hierarchical, deterministic, or HD accounts. So if for some reason you want 10 Bitcoin addresses, go ham. As a new product, no flaws or hacks have been recorded with Cardware to this day. Cardware uses a secure element EAL6+. This will deal with cryptographic operations and protection against physical and logical attacks. There's also a microchip which prevents unauthorized access or modification to the device's firmware and sensitive data. Remember when we generated that key from video or dice rolls? The randomness of these events helps your private keys gain the highest possible degree of cryptographic strength through gathering unpredictable, genuine data. Most devices just give users the seed phrase without knowing how it was generated. As previously said, this device is 100% air-gapped, meaning it's entirely offline, eliminating exposure to remote attacks, exploiting network connections. There's no data transport via the USB-C port, only allowing power to be supplied to the wallet. 
This includes signing offline with QR codes, preventing external data connectivity. From what can be seen, all aspects of Cardware are open sourced on their GitHub. Check the link in the description for more info. Being a new option on the market, there are no Trustpilot reviews yet. Most of the reviews on Twitter are early testers, but with very positive reviews nonetheless. See some examples here of what users are saying about Cardware Wallet so far. Excited to show my unboxing of the new Cardware Ledger. Very nice personal touch from the CEO. Also top class gifts with the presentation, thank you. Great experience unboxing and setting up the Cardware Wallet. Make sure to check them out. I received my Cardware Hardware Wallet today. Solid product. The packaging is clean, simple, and well designed. To get further feedback, we'll need to circle back in a few months to a year as more users purchase the wallet for themselves. To reach out to Cardware directly, submit support tickets through either their Discord server or by emailing contact at cardwarewallet.com. Let's compare Cardware to other popular hardware wallet brands. Here's Cardware next to the Trezor Safe 3, which is a competitor. You can set it up as a Bitcoin only wallet and the price is nearly identical. Bitbox is another Bitcoin only competitor. It has some extra features, which I discussed in a recent review, link above, but at twice the cost. The Ledger S Plus, the Ledger X, the Tangem Ring, the Tangem Card, the SafePal S1, the Ledger Flex, the Ledger Stacks, and the SecuX NeoX. To be as blunt as possible, I was super impressed by this simple Bitcoin wallet and will continue to use it for my BTC needs. It's hard to beat it at this price range. And if all you want to do is secure some BTC, it's a no brainer. Remember, diversifying wallets is key to success. Don't be overexposed on just one hardware wallet. If you want to grab one, please use my link in the description because it really helps this channel. And thanks to Cardware for sending one out. Yeah, catch you in the next one.